Well, Colonel Williams was previously stationed in Ottawa and in Shearwater, Nova Scotia, on a career path that seemed to be going nowhere but up. Senior correspondent Terry Malefsky is following that angle tonight from Ottawa. Terry. Well, Peter, the Department of National Defense is just in shock tonight. This was one of their elite, a take-charge guy, proven in tough assignments, who was on a fast track to the top of the military, and now is suddenly painted by the police as a killer. It seems that nothing hinted at any kind of secret life as Williams rose steadily through the ranks and enjoyed his waterfront property near the rural town of Tweed, about an hour north of the big air base at Trenton. Well, it's unbelievable. Uh, we had no clue uh, what this, this guy seemed like a pretty nice guy. He's camp commander of CFP Trenton and a uh, real down-to-earth guy. And I talked to him several times over the last five years. Not often. He's usually a, a kind of a loner and uh, kind of stick to himself. But if Williams seemed like a loner, that could just be because he lived here alone during the week. His wife, Mary Elizabeth, works for the Heart and Stroke Foundation in Ottawa, where the couple owns a townhouse. And again, the neighbours saw nothing amiss. We had three pleasant conversations, one about sharing snow removal uh, costs and uh, then just shoveling the snow at night, the odd time, just hi, how are you? In fact, Williams could hardly have risen so fast in such a demanding career if he did not come across as smart, competent, ready for command. He had a degree from the University of Toronto. In the 90s, he flew VIPs, including the Prime Minister and the Governor General. Then he ran Canada's forward base in the Middle East, Camp Mirage, near Dubai. And at 46, he took command of Canada's biggest air base, where he recently hosted Defence Minister Peter McKay and the Chief of the Defence Staff, Walter Natinchuk. He also got to welcome the Olympic torch. Uh, as far as I know and from uh, what I've seen in the past from his file, uh, it was just a shining bright star. But was there any hidden problem with the shining star? If so, it stayed hidden. The military does not do regular psychological testing. No, they're not unless there are some problems. But what evidence connects Williams to these crimes? So far, the police are not saying, and nobody's come forward to say, we saw this coming, we knew there was a problem. So the military is stunned, saying that Williams is presumed innocent, but has been relieved of his command. Peter. All right, Terry, thanks very much. Terry Molesky in Ottawa tonight.